Today we're going to do a manicure with these products. I've used it a few times now and I actually like it, especially for the summer. They smell beautifully, these ones. So I wanted to show you how, how I use them. Okay, so this is a serum spray and I'm going to spray it. It's nice and fresh. This smells really, really good. And now, it's nice serum. Just a little dot. I actually asked my client to wash their hands and I wash my hands too before the manicure. So this is actually nice to put on like a light cream so the, the hands don't feel dry. I'm actually going to wipe the nails first with alcohol just to make sure that they're nice and clean. And this is going to be a quick manicure without any polish, but we're going to use a treatment. So a lot of people are asking me about this and I've been testing it on clients and myself for a while. And I have to say, I like it. I mean, none of these products are miracles, but it seems to be helping. And I've been talking to a lot of our viewers to get feedback and see if people are liking it or not. So the only people that didn't like it are the people that have very brittle nails. So maybe it's not a best solution for very brittle nails. So for very brittle nails, I always recommend the warm jojoba soaks weekly. But for nails with surface damage or even like very flexible nails, this is nice. So what I do is with this product, I actually use it before manicures now and i guess you know one application probably is not going to make a big difference but it might help a little bit so i'm going to shake the nails and this client had a manicure mm, like a week and a half ago or something like that so so i'm getting a lot of emails and a lot of people asking me how to deal with damaged nails and majority of them i have to say are sending me pictures and their nails are a little bit longer but what i recommend for sure is not having pretty much any free edge when the nails are damaged because um, the length puts a lot of pressure on the nail and the, the nails tend to break and when they break they break really bad so you know what if your nails are damaged from you know pulling off the product or from filing off product the wrong way or from using electric file incorrectly for whatever reason if the surface is not perfectly healthy just shorten the nails to like no free edge whatsoever and then start growing them if you want to obviously when the nails are healthy because otherwise you just end up with more damage so when this happens this is not really bad. It just looks a little dry. It's not infected or anything. So what I do is I kind of leave it until the last minute and then just snip, obviously with clean nippers, the extra skin at the end of the manicure because I don't want to be messing with that skin during the manicure. So in order to prevent these little accidents from happening, um, I do recommend the carousel or casserole if you're in Poland. There's a product that's very, very similar. Actually, I think it's pretty much identical. They both work really, really well. They have 10% urea and 5% salicylic acid, glycerin, um, and Vaseline. The, when you apply it on around the nails every night, it really helps to keep that skin nice and healthy and nicely exfoliated so these little tears don't happen and also i recommend for the clients to just nudge the skin back um, every couple of days and that way the skin is not going to stretch and tear but it can happen so the, the most important thing is actually you know what i could not live without the little nippers i have a set from Tweezerman, it's like a mini set. These ones are actually expensive. These are Tweezerman as well. They're expensive. Um, so the little set is actually a very good value and it's really good to have it because you know what, when you have the little tear, personally, that kind of drives me crazy. So if I'll just, I'll pick at it. So once you have it, it's better to just 
make sure your skin is nice and uh, clean and then just nip it very very you know carefully that you don't tear the skin further but that's the only way of dealing with it once you have it but obviously trying to prevent it is the most important thing by the way i talk about it in many of my videos but filing back and forth is not bad for the nail and people get really upset sometimes when they see me filing back and forth but it doesn't really matter the nail is not going to tear or I don't know, peel just because I, uh, you file either one way or the other way. The nail is going to peel when the surface of the nail is damaged. That's it. So I'm going to... This is what should be done every couple of days. And then the skin actually shrinks very well. That's actually another question that I get very often. They're like, people are like... Okay, so but when I push back the skin, I have a lot of skin. Can I just then snip it? I'm like, no. When you do that on a regular basis, what's going to happen is that skin no longer will be stuck to the nail. It no longer will be stretching. So eventually, skin shrinks. And eventually, eventually, if you take care of that skin, if you make sure that the skin is nice, healthy, and elastic, it's going to shrink. So this is, uh, we're doing a manicure and I wanted to show you how to do the full manicure. But if you just want to have like nice nails and you're not applying nail polish, you don't actually have to remove the cuticle, believe it or not. If you just push back that skin on a regular basis, the nails are going to look nice and neat. You don't have to remove the cuticle. The cuticle only needs to be removed when you're really applying polish or when you really want to have a nice clean surface on the nail. But it doesn't really have to be. It's just cosmetic reasons. And also the carousel, if you're using the carousel, the carousel is going to help the skin to exfoliate from the nail plate as well. So it really helps. This is actually Melody Sue's e-file. One of the first ones that I received from Melody Susie. And this is 10,000 RPM with like a super, very, very light touch. And the um, the drill bit is, is from Erica. So this is the medium, um, medium tapered barrel. So there was not a lot of cuticle, obviously, because we did a manicure last week. And that's the whole point, really, of doing manicures on a regular basis. You barely have anything to do. And cuticle is barely visible as well. So there was just a little bit of skin um, on the nail plate and that I'm removing and just beveling the free edge a little bit. You know what, the skin, when I'm working, obviously, I just wipe the nails with alcohol as well. But as I'm working, obviously there is some dust on the skin. So the skin is not as dry as it looks here. This client actually doesn't have a dry skin. So what you're seeing is a lot of dust and just very temporary dryness. So a lot of times people just want like instant results. And somehow they just think that dry skin needs to be removed. But that's not really, when you think about it, that doesn't make any sense. Dry skin needs to be repaired, not removed. So when the skin is taken care of and protected, it's not going to be dry. So yes, now it's going to look dry because obviously it looks dusty in a way. So you have to know when you're doing this, and I'm talking actually to professionals, because if you're doing your nails yourself, you don't have to be using an electric file. What I'm saying is, if as a professional you see dry skin, don't try to fix it. It's almost like, you know, when you're going for a facial, for example. So you go for a facial and 
they're gonna put some masks on, they're gonna do a light exfoliation, okay? So that I understand. But they cannot somehow magically remove your dry skin. So you're still gonna have dry skin after the facial if you have dry skin. So then what you have to do is you have to, after you wash your face, you have to obviously wash your face with gentle cleanser. And then you have to apply, you know, proper moisturizer, you know, treatment cream, serums, whatever. Even Vaseline, Vaseline is actually very good for the face as well, if your skin is extremely dry. So, or in the winter, in a very dry environment. Don't be afraid of Vaseline. You don't just take sandpaper and start filing your face, no? That would be crazy. So this is the same. And somehow people think that on the hands, the skin is, well, it is different actually. Skin on the hands, the hands don't have oil glands really. So they need more uh, oil. And oil is what keeps the skin cells together. So when you see skin, skin cells basically falling apart, it's because they don't have oil, not because there's too much skin. So yes, this, this will exfoliate the skin a little bit, smooths some of the hard pieces, but that's about it. Once people leave the salon, it's their turn to take care of the skin, to maintain, and that has to be done at home. There's no other way around it. We can't fix it in the salon. We can make the nice the nails look better. We can you know shape them nicely. We can polish them beautifully. Um, this could be a very nice and relaxing service, but we cannot fix dry skin in one appointment or even weekly appointments. Because when you think about it, how many times you wash your, wash your hands between the manicures. Okay, so now, because this file is medium, it's not a very fine file, it's a medium file. It shapes the nails very nice and quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, well, what I'm doing is using a buffer to bevel the free edge. So I'm not buffing the nail surface. I'm just like hugging the nail with the buffer and make sure that the edges are nice and smooth. And this is, I've been doing this for a very long time, but I never really kind of talked about it. And then one day I kind of realized that this is an important step that I should be mentioning. This makes the nails very, very nice and smooth. So it doesn't really matter which file you're using. Use whatever feels good. I usually prefer a very fine, like thin file, so they can get into the, the, the sides nicely, but be careful that you're not angling the file and you don't file like this. So just go underneath if you wanna have the nails a little bit more narrow. Again, I'm going to just wipe them with alcohol. Normally I wouldn't, but I just know that some of them need to have little pieces of skin that need to be snipped. So what I would do when there is a broken skin like that, unfortunately, when you cut it, when you snip it, it starts to peel after a while. So, and it becomes hard again. So don't be tempted to cut it again, because what happens is you almost get like a, uh, like a scab. This is just something else here. So when you have a scab, obviously don't pick it, right? Try to um, protect that skin. And just make sure that you're putting a Vaseline. I would do Vaseline before, um, when this is healing yeah, after each hand wash. Because I'm telling you, when you snip something, that skin is going to kind of have these little peelies. And that's it. Just gonna get in here smooth this a little bit and this is why personally i like the electric file i don't use it for any type of speed i use it for precision and you know what i actually started explaining to clients that they don't need to use so much oil i use it because i just used you know the alcohol and everything else um and actually show my clients how much oil to use ideally after each hand wash when your skin is still a little wet put this oil in the bathroom one drop, okay, like this, and like this, rub it in, 
you can wipe it even with a towel if you want to and and you're done and this makes a huge huge difference how your skin looks they also have the same cream in a tube and i have to say i prefer the tube i guess because it's just easier to use it this is lovely you don't need a lot of that cream it's it has a very nice slip and this manicure usually i charge about 100 euros <laughs> i'm kidding no it's like 25. <laughs> 